Uh, does this uh, have any relation to the word Mujahideen itself? Because uh, many people here, they say Mujahideen, and uh, I don't know if, uh, if, if, if the word itself um, has a meaning to uh, many of the uh, Americans over here or not. Could you please uh, explain to us? Yes, uh, I will. I would like first the to clarify to something about this, that many people in America, I noticed this, this is my first visit to USA, but I noticed that some people here uh, from ex lectures I had misunderstand the word Mujahideen. They, they have bad information or bad understanding or let's say misunderstanding to that word. They think Mujahideen are people who attack people, just, you know, or have hijacked planers, hijacked planes, aircrafts like those who hijacked the Kuwaiti aircraft. We are against this completely. This is not jihad. This is nonsense. Jihad is fighting for the sake of Allah fighting for the path of Allah to protect our religion. We make jihad against those who prevent us from performing our, you know, religion or from following our uh, divine revelation in Quran. Those who prevent us from performing our prayers like the Russians doing, you know. They one, by the way, one man, uh, it said in the Russian television, when they asked him why you could weep Czechoslovakia, Hungary, and you are unable to finish the war in Afghanistan, he said, well, we hear, whenever we hear uh, Allahu Akbar, this is the weapon that we can do nothing about. So we can fight Mujahideen, but when they say Allahu Akbar, we cannot do anything. He said, we do urinate on our clothes. When we see Allahu Akbar, trrr, that's it. You know? So Alhamdulillah, we have this power of Allah Akbar. We do feel in our jihad that Allah is with us. Because we are with Allah, we never kill women. We have many times we have the chance of capturing their women. Russian women. And many leaders said we have captured them, we set them free. We did not touch them. Because this is the characters of Islam. We are Muslims. We do not touch women, we do not touch girls. And these who are doing hijacking is completely against Islam. So you, you, are the leaders against hijacking and things like that? All, all of them are against hijacking. We do not believe in hijacking. As Muslims, this hijacking is not fair at all. What, you are killing innocent people, like these two Kuwaitis who were killed. What was their crime? Why? Just because they were Kuwaitis, you killed them? You, you consider this is Islam? This is not Islam. This is against Islam. You don't kill innocent people. Go and fight those who are fighting you, if there is any fight. Go and fight the men. Don't, don't kill people, innocent people who are not fighting, civilians doing nothing. This is not fair. This is not accepted in our religion. And you know what our Rasulullah, what our Prophet told us, and warn us not to touch even plant, not to kill plant, not to kill old people, not to fight those who are not fighting us. That's Only true. we do fight those who are fighting us. That's true.